What's up, you guys? It's Dilk back again with another video, and today is January 19th, and it's a drop day. If you guys don't know, I own Times Forever, and I'm dropping four new colorways of my swirly sweats today. I decided why not just vlog the whole weekend, the whole process of like packing up the orders, filling them, shipping them out, and all that. I'm currently recording on my phone right now, so bear with like the volume and the quality as of right now. My girl ended up taking the camera for vacation, but she'll be back later today, so just bear with the footage for right now. It's an hour before exclusive access right now, so the first thing I'm gonna do is count inventory because you never could be so sure. Then I gotta set up the SMS alert and the email that will be sent out at during exclusive access with the password. But yeah, light morning, and then uh, after that, I'm gonna start packing up orders once the orders come in. I do project a sellout within the first like 10 minutes. Photo shoot and campaign seem to go crazy. I had over 2,000 people sign up for like the SMS and email alert, viral TikTok, and viral Instagram Reels. So shout out to you guys. I appreciate y'all for the support. Now, let's get to the video. Hey guys, finished kind of everything. Now it's 10.58, already 123 people on the site. Messages are being sent out. People are getting to the site. We got four orders right now. How many y'all think gonna be in there? I'm thinking like 800. I don't think I ever had that before. Over a thousand people on the site all at once. Bro, for a fucking moment right there, no fucking sales were fucking popping up. And I was like figuring out, trying to figure out what was fucking wrong. As y'all can see, it says six fucking orders right there. And that shit just fucking blew up so fucking fast. So like, but yeah, a lot of people are messaging me saying that they couldn't check out. I wouldn't ship here, here, here. But you know, never had that issue before. But uh, I don't know what fucking happened. So many fucking people are on the site, I guess, and shit bugged. So yeah, y'all just saw it was around 216 orders just jumped up to 332. All right, y'all. So that's the final count. Like people getting so mad, they literally said that uh, they're unfollowing and all that shit. One motherfucker said, "I'm gonna just get the sweats made and just use your side shirt." Motherfuckers wild. But if you guys have been tuned in, you guys know that has some extra swirlies and like the sage green and the wash black. I'm about to throw those on the side at 12 o'clock. So hopefully I can get some people happy. Like, yeah, we did good and the release did well. It's just like so many people mad. And I, you know, I started, I'm feeling bad a little bit. And then uh, they got motherfuckers talking about, oh, why the fuck did y'all uh, not leave any for general access? And I'm like, the fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like exclusive access for people that really want the sweats and they sign up and they get their pairs. You know what I'm saying? So. Why the fuck would I leave any for general access if all the exclusive access people want it? So, but yeah, either way, a lot of people are mad. So if you guys are watching, I appreciate y'all for the support. I do feel bad. I'm sorry, y'all, but you know, I appreciate y'all. I was saving the pink sweats for next month, but I just threw them on the site as well, just so somebody could get at least get some type of W today and, you know, those sold out as well. And then for final numbers, we got around 657 orders to pack. All right, guys, I spent the last two, three hours just responding to DMs, emails, and all that shit. Just stressful day bro it shouldn't it, i feel like it shouldn't have been like this but this is what it is shout out to you guys for supporting it's four or five o'clock right now i'm about to go pick up my girl in an hour still didn't eat yet shout out to my boy jesse he just brought me over some food fat ass dog wants some too my boy got me some bow me let me show you a better look real quick shit kind of look funky right now because i fucked up the bag but this is like a beef bagogi bow me and then we got like a coconut shrimp looking one in here too so yeah shout out to my boy hey guys my girl is back from her trip and she is not happy she does not want to help pack up orders please get her out of here all right yeah i'm about to go grab some food first uh and then we're gonna start packing up orders one issue with packing up all the orders though the carabiners that were supposed to come in on thursday it's not coming until monday so what i'm about to do is just still pack up every single order but then and then just throw in the carabiners towards the end and then just ship them all out probably on tuesday so so yeah i wanted to ship out everything by monday but it'll probably end up being on tuesday if it comes in on monday if it comes in on tuesday then wednesday type shit All right, y'all, as you can see, it's 7.34. I was in the zone, got lost track of time, and I was like, fuck it, and I just kept packing the borders. Look at my family. But yeah, I'm at like 3.50 right now. And then this is just how I had to do it. I just packed them up, wrote like the order number on top, so then I could just put the labels on later, and then once the carabiners arrive, put them all in there. It's just gonna be a lot of work, but felt like this is the best way possible. If I decided to go to sleep, I was probably not gonna wake up to like three, four o'clock. And I told my grandma I'd come over today, so I'm gonna go over there around like 11, 12 o'clock. All right, y'all. So after grandma's, I came home, I crashed, woke up, Nikki made steak, we watched the Chiefs game. After that, just went back to sleep again. This morning, I woke up early, 7, 8 o'clock, finished packing up all the orders. And then around 3 o'clock, UPS finally came with the carabiners, and I've just been packing up ever since. Place is a mess. This section right here is good. This section need to get work on. 
Same thing over here. And those over there are done. So here are what the new carabiners look like compared to the old one. We have like a darker gray right here. And this one's kind of like almost a black. So today's the first day of the men's basketball league that I'm in right now. And I probably shouldn't go and just go ahead and finish packing these up. But I decided I'm going to go because it's like the first game of the season. You know, I kind of want to be there and meet the new teammates type shit like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the game, record it like on some Drew Wall shit, record like a highlights of like inbounding the ball and shit like that. But after that, when I get home, I'm probably going to pull an all-nighter and get this finished because this first thing in the morning, we're going to go to U-Haul, go grab a truck and ship these all out. Clamps. Clamps. Alright, yeah, we are finally done. Three big ass piles. UPS ones over there. I'm tired. Good thing we didn't need to do the all nighter. Shouts out to my girl for staying up with me and helping me out. But yeah, now I'm about to go shower, go sleep, and then gotta go pick up the U-Haul at 10 tomorrow. So see y'all then. Alright, yeah, this is a crazy sight to see. That cherry on top, that motherfucker ordered six pairs of pants. How did some of y'all didn't order no pants and he got six? That's crazy. But yeah, this is crazy to see. Now we're on our way to grab the U-Haul truck. It's just me and my girl today. Hopefully, and my other girl. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. My back's already hurting thinking about doing this shit. All right, y'all, all done. Finished in about like 45 minutes to an hour. Now let's go drop them off. Probably like the harder part. We got seven crates full, y'all. Shouts out to you guys. All right, y'all, we're all done. Tired, need a break. Just look. Right, you still gotta go to UPS. Yeah, we're about to go to UPS. That shouldn't take long. It's like 16 orders, but we're about to go take a break and get something to eat. But tip for you guys, anybody clothing brand type shit, always be ahead of schedule. Like y'all saw me, uh, I stayed up late the last couple nights and uh, that could have easily been like avoided if I just ordered the carabiners a week before I actually did. I was procrastinating and all that shit. So just always be ahead of schedule. You never know what can happen. Even though the carabiners did say they would arrive before the week of the release, it didn't, you know, shit happens. Nothing ever goes as planned type shit. So always be prepared. Now we have Panera Bread eating this high quality hospital food, broccoli cheddar soup, Pepperoni pizza. I think she got like a turkey club. And not this. This is the this is the highlight right now. Whenever y'all here, get this walnut cream cheese spread. Shit's fire. Alright you guys, that's everything. All the sweats are finally done. Shelves are finally back to being empty. Then later on this weekend, I'll unpack these pink zip ups and get them ready for next month. I want to give you guys like the breakdown of how I think I was so successful on this job. So I'm gonna break it down to three parts, influencers, photo shoot, and like content. And hopefully these tips can help put y'all on. And I'm not saying I'm like the best clothing brand owner. I don't got the best brand and shit like that. I'm just saying these things work for me and I feel like it can help you put yourself in like the right direction. You feel me? So I decided to do influencer marketing this time around. That's basically, you know, whenever you would send your pieces out to influencers, they kind of like give exposure to the brand and the pieces that you're about to drop. Picking influencers is a really big decision because honestly, you, you know, you're giving out product, you're losing money, but you're hoping that exposure can help uplift the brand. You feel me? A lot of brands I see, all they do send out to the people with the most clout the most followers hoping that that would work but honestly that's further from the truth so basically my thought process behind like the idea of picking influencers is that i would give pieces to people that i would fuck with you know so these people are actually you know appreciative and they actually want to show support to you and the brand while other people all they really doing is asking for free stuff i have a bunch of people in the dm all with all types of followers crazy amounts motherfuckers in the league all that shit all they really want is free shit, and I'm, I'm not down with that. So let me give you guys an example. Y'all know Jared Vanderbilt. If y'all don't know, he's like a forward on the Lakers. Fashion guy, you know, he's cool. He's on league fits. He happened to DM me and then saying like the, the sweats that I was dropping were cool. 
it was a while back he he fucked with the pink ones that's when i dropped those but yeah he loved the sweats and he actually wanted to pair so i was thinking like oh all right cool you know somebody in the league he's on the lakers this is some good exposure i'm gonna set him out some pairs but luckily one of my friends he ended up posting like a little link of like a little article of when jerry vanville a while back he wore some uh clothes from this uh, streetwear brand after he uh, bought the clothes from that brand or whatever he ended up returning it on the next day or some shit that is not the type of like influence or a person that i would want in the brand you know what i'm saying it's like bad vibes in general why would you do that type of shit but on the other hand the other day whenever i posted my tiktok the viral one about the uh, swirly sweats jalen williams okc center cool thing is you know he's the first vietnamese player in the um the league and you know i'm vietnamese as well so it kind of hit me. you know he hit me on ig and he's actually wanted to buy the sweats he asked me he was like hey you know, I love the sweats. I want to buy them. Do you think they would fit me? So he's actually somebody that's one that gets down with the brand and not just looking for some free shit. You know what I'm saying? All Vandal did was DM me fire emoji. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm getting sweats made for Jalen Williams, all four colorways. And I'm going to throw one extra in in the wash black just to show some love. And hopefully that brings like, you know, the great exposure that I'm hoping for. Because if he's able to put his teammates on and y'all know his teammates, Shay, J-Dub, Chet, um, Lou Dort, all the motherfuckers. If Shay sees Jalen Williams wearing those sweats and he says he wants a pair, my life changed forever. Like crazy change from if you see shay and thomas forever i gotta run one pre-order one pre-order of them swirly sweats my life changed forever i could retire after that. but not on some real shit shout out to Jalen williams but yeah to basically conclude influencer marketing i would say just put people in your pieces that fuck with you and you fuck with them all right so now let's talk about the photo shoot what i see a lot of brands doing is just like influencer feed type of post where they basically just get the influencer to wear the piece and they post that on their page that works for some people but that's not something that i want to do ever since last year around may i basically started just doing mainly strictly photo shoots and it's been working for me so what i like to do is just like photo shoots that tell a story or just like cool pics of the product and showcasing it when it comes to more like the relatable shit for like the influencers and myself that's mainly on our own personal pages i like to keep the brand's page strictly about the product and all like the relatable stuff is like i said on our personal stuff so yeah when it comes to like the photo shoot and stuff you know i invested in a great camera cost me like two three hundred bucks it's the one like i'm recording right now for youtube as well it's like the canon mark three studio i spent around eight hundred dollars total so yeah i was able to take a bunch of great photos and at the studio was able to like record behind the scenes footage because that's what kind of helps build the brand up as well like whenever i told you about like content and like relatable stuff people like behind the scenes you know what i'm saying so writing the studio is great for the content and just great for the photos as well so yeah i was able to give off like a vibe and a theme for the swirly sweats photo shoots so yeah with the cafe brown and cool gray sweats those are more like toned down colorways so i wanted to give off the vibe for that photo shoot as like you know carefree cozy relax and i did it in one of my dream studios that i would actually live in so for the red and blue swirlies those are loud colors and i never dropped any kind of like loud colorways for any of the pieces i ever made so this was something new so i wanted to highlight this so i took us to like a colorful extravagant type of house and we was able to do a photo shoot right there as well and when you're looking at the photos the sweats kind of pop out and i think we killed the whole photo shoot lastly let's talk about content and i think this area right here is probably the most important thing you need to lock in on if you're trying to be successful so my biggest tip for you guys is hard work and consistency gives you more opportunities to have more opportunities of being lucky and being lucky is a huge part of being successful when it comes to like a tiktok and instagram and being lucky in this type of situation is something you can actually control so let me break it down for you guys i literally made like 30 videos to post on instagram reels and tiktoks and then four of them went viral i basically shot four for 30 and that's basically like a 13 percent shooting percentage and all you really need is one video to help expose and uplift the brand but me i had four i was able to grow my brand's instagram page from like 7,000 to 12,000 within a month and that's like crazy growth i was able to grow my personal page from like 3,000 down to like 6,000 within like two, three weeks as well. So yeah, imagine if I only made like five videos promoting the brand, how many of those would have actually hit? Probably none. So yeah, the more consistent you are, the more chances you have of being lucky. So yeah, basically that's what I would say was like my roadmap to having a successful release. Sold out 800 sweats within like five minutes. Hype for the brand is higher than ever. Everybody wants a restock, but they're gonna have to wait because I'm not gonna do like a restock until like August or something. A lot of people are basically telling me to run a pre-order after I drop the sweats. And obviously like the Thomas Forever Swirly sweats right now, the hype is more than ever right now. And if I were to run a pre-order, my numbers are probably double. But at the end of the day, if this is about money, yeah, you can go do that. But to me, it's not about money. To me, I want to provide value to my community. For money right now, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I have a roof under my head. I got money in the bank. My girl's good. My dog's good. I got food. I got water. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't need all the money in the world to be happy. I'm good. So that's why I'm saying I want to provide value to my community. If I was to run a pre-order on these sweats right now, they won't get their order until April. I don't want my customers waiting from January all the way to April for some sweats. April is basically spring. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to be wearing swirly sweats in the spring. Why not? wear some drawers why not wear some swirly shorts you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a bad experience for everybody because you're gonna be waiting for the sweats but in february and march i'm dropping different pieces and respectfully a lot of customers do not read they would went and ordered those sweats still thinking those were pre-made and those weren't a pre order even though in the title it might have said pre-order cafe brown sweats they still gonna ask and this one it wouldn't have been like a regular pre-order where it's four to six weeks these are like eight to ten weeks 
that's crazy. Reputation would have went bad under my different type of posts. People would ask like, hey, where's my order? That's going to raise the eyebrows. That's going to make people think that I don't ship orders and I'm not trying to have that reputation. So yeah, at the end of the day, I wanted to provide value for you guys. I want you guys to wear stuff kind of at the correct time. You know what I'm saying? Be patient. The sweats will come back and just be excited for the new stuff that I'm dropping. White blanks, black blanks, they're coming soon. The flannel, exclusive access flannel coming very soon. But right now we're in the early stages of the brand. We're on year three. There's no need to be rushing the money process. I don't need all the money in the world right now. Most important thing right now is to provide value to my community because at the end of the day, I wouldn't be anything without y'all. All right, y'all. I hope y'all could take something away from these tips. I'm glad to help. I could end the vlog right here, but I feel like the vlog is a little bit short. So I thought, why not just vlog the whole week? I got a couple more things I need to do this week. Like I said, I need to unpack the pink zips. I think tomorrow I'm going to go eat for my brother-in-law's birthday and I'm about to go start hooping again. Yesterday humbled me. Not that I played bad. It's just that I'm not in basketball shape right now and I do want to get back into it. So I want to go bought a bar earlier and I'm about to start hooping outside and get myself in shape for like the league games on Monday. But yeah, today, you know, I'm tired. It's staying up too many times this week, you know, packing up the orders and getting that stuff ready. So I'm going to just relax today. Might get on Fortnite. Might play a little game here and there. Might finish watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Never finished catching up yet. So yeah, light day. If anything, I'll record it. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, it's Wednesday, and I just opened one of the boxes to show TikTok like the pink zip up. Now, let me show you guys. So here is the pink Friday forever zip. Let me put it on body to show you guys what it's looking like. And as y'all can see, the fit is perfect, nice and cropped. And you already know every single piece I make, I always prioritize like the fit. So this one, no different. Zip up has the same details as the last zip up release. Two YKK zippers right here. We got the four-way pocket system, kangaroo pockets right here for your hands. And like for like side pockets right here, we have it for like your accessories, like your wallet and, you know, super functional. And as you know, we got the deep ass hood for you guys with the big ass heads. And right here, we have the Thomas Forever embroidery right here. But yeah, just a nice everyday zip up with some subtle detail. And as y'all can see, there's only six boxes. So this release is limited. I also film a bunch of TikToks and somebody on TikTok asked me, did the pink sweats work well with the pink zip up? Like, would they match? Let me know what you guys think. I honestly don't think they look bad to get like. Would I wear it? Probably not. But like the girls or anybody else that loves pink like that, they probably would. So let me know what you guys think. Be on the lookout in the next couple of weeks for the release. I need to plan like a photo shoot and all that and like the rollout of how I want to release them. But right now we're about to go eat some sushi for my brother-in-law's birthday. All right, y'all, it's Saturday. I spent the whole morning just editing the TikToks I made and, like, the YouTube video. But thought, why not go to the park? It's not raining today. Let me get some shots up. You no, know, just, just to get back into form. You feel me? Then after that, I just pick up some food for dinner. I think we're getting Mexican food tonight. I know that's basically the end of the vlog. I'm thinking tomorrow, which is Sunday, I'm probably just gonna wake up, edit this video, and have it ready for Monday. The other than that, Sunday's just gonna be a chill day, editing, watching a football game. But yeah, shout out to you guys for tuning in. Y'all have a good rest of y'all week. Peace.